All right, back again Luke here. And today we've got out the original Sony PlayStation, and I figured we could put in this game here, Nightmare Creatures. So let's pop this in and play some of that. Well, this is a game with a really cool kind of uh, eerie feel to it. Uh, it is one that I believe kind of has a Tomb Raider kind of feel to it as well, but we'll let this roll through. This will be game number 14 on our October Halloween Gaming. It's been a while, I'm sure, since you guys have seen this logo. When was the last time you fired up the original PlayStation? <laughs> this one too, it's been a while. You can listen to it kind of rattle a little bit there. But since the intro is a little bit long, we're just gonna skip through it. Let's just skip it and we'll just jump into the game. Like I said, there's uh, a bit too much time that's spent on that intro, so. And here we go. So, love that stuff here. So let's go ahead and start up the game here. We've got two characters we can choose from, uh, Ignatius and uh, Nadia, and I think we'll just go with Ignatius here. Now this game is one of those things, it's like a horror game mixed with a bit of a fighter. Um, it's really tricky because you have to block, you have to kind of stick and move in order to get around in the game here. You see, this is our kind of uh, evil boss there. But once again, without the analog control, this can be really hard to move around. Uh, the zombies, they do fight back. So they move. They're not like kind of the stupid zombies that you're used to in other games. These ones really do attack you. But it does have that awesome mood and feeling going on here. You'll notice that you have a gun down at the bottom there. You can pick up these pellets throughout the game. You have to, in order to pick these up, you have to press and hold the uh, square button. If you just try and press it quickly, you don't get anything. Here we go. We do have a kick, and we can block, but sometimes it's better just to bum rush these guys. Um, can drop them down there. another zombie and if you do get a spin kick off on them you can wind up killing them one hit a lot of secrets in this game hidden walls and things like that but the let's try and block oh, he's not gonna come after us is he <laughs> just the time that I block come on you do have a health meter, um, or basically an uh, amount of health that you can, uh, number of hits that you can take before you lose a life. Uh, come on, that was blocked. But if it's your first time playing this game, you may find yourself getting frustrated with it. Uh, because the controls and stuff, it, it's a bit stiff going back and playing the old PlayStation 1 games, but... The sound effects and everything are really cool. I think we already have one of these pellets, so we can't... Oh, we got one. There we go. So you can see our health up in the top there. And uh, that'll be our number of lives, too, with the three next to it, so... Like I said, we're using the analog stick right here. If you do get some of these uh, hits, uh, blocking there for a minute, but the blocking didn't seem to work out so well. If you can get these guys cornered, um, works out really well. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I was blocking there. Come on. Come on. This is where you can get extra uh, stuff if you've already used your shot. The uh, the guns here are basically one shot, but they, they do destruct, um, huge destruction there. Each shot, all you have to do is just tap the R2 button and uh, yeah, it'll kill kill some of the bigger enemies here. Probably could have shot that one. Like I said, the camera angles and stuff can be... Oh, come on, that was a block. Ah, he got me. That was one, one life there. But what's nice is it does start you right here. You'll notice me just getting kind of mixed up backwards here. Forget this dude. And there we go. <laughs> He's done and over with. I probably should have done that at the beginning, but didn't want to waste the shots here. Uh, in the game, you want to try and find your way through the uh, maze or through the level and get through the, the door at the end here. All right, I'm done with this guy. Oh, what? Come on. You're too close. another thing over here that we can get. Another one of these pellets. Hold down square. There we go. And gone. There are bats in this game. The bats kind of fly around and f breathe fire, which is kind of interesting. Let's see what else. I don't think I actually have to fight that one there. Yep. So this is the uh, the gate here for the first stage. There we go. So show you how many items you found and whatnot. So we'll save and continue here. And nevertheless, to kind of keep along with the kind of horror theme that we've got going for this month. See how many different videos we can get out here. Level two. This is where they start to introduce some of the bigger guys. And gone. <laughs> that weapon is so awesome. But you only get so many of them, so many shots, so. I think I might have only one more of those left. Get some health here. <laughs> uh, better than dying. Kind of tired of that. Let's see, we can't go that way. So we're going to have to go this way here. This is a big guy, but he's not very strong. Um, if you get him caught like this, you can. I think he's gone. Yeah, not such a big, big problem. Those other ones, man, they really, really get you. But this is just one of those games that has a really cool feel to it. A really cool, eerie feel. 
You just gotta be prepared to um, go back to those old uh, difficult controls with the PlayStation 1. Or PlayStation X, as people call it. I'm gonna call it PlayStation 1. Because PlayStation X is a PlayStation 2, actually. <laughs> Get off me. trap down there. See if we can get another. Oh, that was just mice. Come on. Oh, now we gotta fight two of these guys, come on. I just gotta get this guy out of the way. He's the hardest one to mess around with. Hmm. Ah, come on. easier here. <laughs> you can see how the zombie's still going there. I mean, even regardless without his head, so. Let's grab some of the stuff here. Come on. You gotta line it up just right in order to get that. There we go. Got our health back. Let's go get this big guy. Surprising that this guy's not that difficult. But yeah, you guys just have to get used to that auto camera movement here. Let's see if we can grab the. Come on. Ah, just circle around it. There we go. Okay, which way were we going? We came from that way. This way. Ah, uh, you're going down. I'm getting you in the corner here. You're getting me in the corner. Turn around. Turn around. Ah. Uh, a little bit too late there to get that one, but yeah. Nevertheless, guys, just wanted to share with you a little bit of a look at what Nightmare Creatures looks like here for the PlayStation, and it's an, an interesting one here. Does take just a little bit of work to, um, you know, get used to, but uh, it is definitely a, a pretty good game for the system. Come on, <laughs> as I try to struggle to get this. Got an extra life there. That's good. I think that's all that's behind here. No, I was wrong. Grab the. Revolver there. Let's see. I don't think we can go through here. How did we get around that? Maybe got to go around this way. It's been a while since I've played this game, so. from that way. 
I think that's the only way that we can go, possibly. It's behind here. Where's the secret? way to go. Uh, kind of gotten a bit turned around here with that last boss. But, well, I think 15 minutes is probably pretty good here. Uh, wish I could remember which way we were supposed to travel. I can't, yeah, I can't remember if it's up and over or not. It probably is. I think this is about where we're gonna leave it guys nevertheless that's about all for me for right now <laughs> like always I'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching watching some getting lost madness here before. Yeah, easy to get sidetracked here. Ah, oh, we run out of time. Where did I get hit? Possibly one of the two. Come on. Oh, there we go. Did this, I think this is the same spot that uh, I was before, so. But yeah, guys, we are going to leave it here. I'll pause this one for right now, and uh, I'll see you back here in next video. So, thanks for watching.